change your mind and transform your life. Hey there, I'm Heather Hakes. Welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you live the life you dream about. But before we dive into today's video, I invite you to check out my free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. Again, visit my website, heatherhakes.com and opt into my free video training. You can also click on the link below in the description box. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. And I wanna know, where are you watching from? Comment below. All right, let's get to it. Let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite books when it comes to mindset and manifesting, and it's called E Squared by Pam Grout. She's one of my most favorite authors because she makes it fun. She makes science digestible and exciting. She breaks down quantum physics to help you realize that we live in an energetic universe. And when you understand the power of your thoughts, when you understand that your thoughts and your feelings combined emanating out are creating your reality, then you can get in the driver's seat of your life, take your power back and create the reality you actually want. In Pam's book, it's called E Squared, nine do-it-yourself energy experiments that prove your thoughts create reality. I have read this book multiple times over the last few years as a reminder to walk myself through and understand that Life is supposed to be fun, to have inner experiments. That's why I love calling them that, have experiments. Because when you experiment with something, it's like you're putting this hypothesis up and you wanna see what comes to fruition. What I'm going to share with you are some quotes from this book, some high level takeaways. One, I highly suggest you pick up a copy of the book. But two, understand that we live in this energetic universe, that your thoughts and your feelings create more or less like a radio station, a frequency. And when you're tuned to, via your thoughts and your feelings, let's say station 101.1, and that's the station where your abundance sits, that's what you're going to create more of. However, if through your thoughts and your feelings, you're tuned to a low frequency, let's say radio station 80.3, you're going to get more of that, which is not what you want. So let me share a few quotes with you from this book that I just love. Number one, and this is really powerful. I've experienced this before. Let me ask you, have you ever experienced that internal tug of war? Like you have a desire and you want something, but you doubt it at the same time. So wanting something, but doubting it's possible for you creates this internal tug of war. And what Pam says is, your conflicting intentions are simply creating turbulence in the field of potentiality. Let me share that with you. Pam calls, the quantum field, this field of infinite potentiality, the FP, the field of potentiality. So I just want you to understand that when you're thinking something that you want, remember this is your conscious mind, your 5% of the picture are your conscious desires that you want something. But if you're feeling unworthy, doubting it, it's not going to happen, impatient, insecure, you're creating that disconnect, what she calls a turbulence in the field. If you haven't yet, I invite you to check out my free video training on my website, how to reprogram your subconscious mind. Because just as Pam shares in this book, if you have subconscious beliefs or doubts or feelings of unworthiness, that's 95% of the picture. It means it's going to keep your desire away from you because you have a misalignment. You've created turbulence. Instead, I teach you how to reprogram so you can have that alignment so you can manifest easy because what you want already exists. All you have to do is line up with it. So let me share another quote with you. Getting out of your own way and getting rid of the countless negative thoughts are up to you. And that's why it's so important. What I do with my coaching clients is step number one in my coaching process. You have to become aware of how you've been thinking. Because if you become aware, oh my gosh, I am always thinking negatively or in lack, or there's not enough, there's no good men, there's no good women, um, you know, there's not any jobs, life is hard. If you have those negative thoughts, Life is a self-fulfilling prophecy. So what she's saying is you have to get out of your own way and get rid of these thoughts because they're keeping you in a low vibe frequency. 
Here's another one. Pam is sharing this. I changed the reality of what I thought and said about myself. I want you to realize and understand that life, your external world, is simply a reflection of your internal state. So if you have negative self-talk on repeat, that negative feedback loop, I'm not enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm, you know, I'm too old, I'm too young, I don't have enough experience. If you have all these negative thoughts about yourself, then you're going to keep yourself at bay from what you actually want in your life. And that's exactly what Pam's saying. I changed the reality of what I thought and said about myself because your words are powerful. Again, this comes down to awareness. You have to start becoming aware of what you're thinking and speaking because your thoughts and your words are creating the results in your life. Final quote I wanna share with you. This is when it comes to manifesting. You have to live under the assumption that your intention has already happened. You have to feel it as if it has already come to pass. Now, Pam is not the first one that has shared this with us. So many greats before our time have shared that with us, Neville Goddard especially. You have to understand that everything you want, the health, the money, the relationships, the experiences, travel, home, whatever you desire, is already available to you. Because if you can think it, you can imagine it, then you can experience it. But what happens is most of us are living in a space of lack and separation, wanting something. If you want something, it means you don't have it. And so as she says, you have to live in the assumption of already having it. As Neville Goddard states, live from the end. So let's say you want money. It's not that you'll feel abundant once you get money. You have to feel abundant and then you'll get money. If you want to be in a relationship, you can't wait to meet that person until you, and then you'll feel love and connection. You have to feel love and connection and then watch how the universe unfolds and you meet that special person. So what I want to invite you to do is pick up this book, read E squared. It'll help you understand and realign your thoughts and your feelings. It makes manifesting fun. She has nine experiments throughout the book on little things. And really it's just helping you to become aware and understanding, holy, I create my reality. I would love to hear from you when you pick up this book, as you're doing the experiments, share with me and comment below so the other people watching this video can see your experiences too. Because when you provide evidence of the power of your reality, you're paving the path for others to do the same. Thanks for watching today's video. I wanna know, what was your biggest takeaway? Comment below and let me know. If you liked this video and it resonated, give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. I'll catch you on the next video.